Hi everybody, this is Osprey from MyChartCoach.com and in this video we're going to take a look at the Canadian marijuana sector stocks. Okay, there, there's a whole lot of stocks in the sector that are running and so I'm just going to be able to cover uh, I think about 13 or 14 in this video. Um, yes, if you look here at the marijuana index, you can see here the North American index is up nearly 3% today. So so it's a huge move for the entire index. You can see it's been on this huge run. Um, it's been a, 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 a very uh, long run since October. You know, it's been breaking out. And then if you look at the Canadian uh, marijuana index, you can see it's it's on this huge uh, five-day run as well. It's been pushing super hard. hard. It's up 6% today. And, and so yeah, you could see over over the course of the last year where it bottomed out here between July and September, and then it's really gotten parabolic here. Um, yeah, ever since the Constellation Brands deal, the the uh, sector is really heated up. And then if you look at the the United States sector, it, it has been on fire as well. Um, if you look at the one year chart here, it, it it's been breaking out uh, since November. It's it's been lagging behind the Canadian index, but it's catching up fast, and, and so it's really making a strong move this week. I, I will make the next video on the United States uh, marijuana stacks. Okay, so this. This one is all uh, over-the-counter um, stocks. Uh, some of these, like uh, Canopy Growth, uh, trade on the Toronto Stock Exchange. Uh, this trades under the ticker symbol WEED uh, on the Toronto Stock Exchange. But uh, just keep in mind, these are all over-the-counter, and they are these are licensed, uh, uh, federally licensed Canadian uh, marijuana companies that are you know have a license to legally operate. Okay, so it's a much better environment than, than the United States environment for uh, for for uh, businesses to operate. Okay, so TWMJF, and I'm just going to get down to the TA and go through it pretty quick. Uh, this is a blue sky breakout. Um, it's just on total breakout mode right now. Um, no, notice that it, it, you know, it hit a new all-time high today at 20. Um, you know, it's at 1955 close. The, the candles are riding EMA4 support higher. It's on a three-day run right now. Um, EMA uh, 4 at 18.16 is the key level to hold below. Once there's finally a close below that level, you could see some consolidation. As long as that middle Bollinger Band way down here at 50.53 or 50, is holding, the uptrend is intact and should continue. Uh, you know, we, we posted uh, charts uh, showing the breakout above high close resistance, and that was on uh, this candle right here on the 18th, and that signaled more upside potential. Um, you know, if you uh, uh, took our alert and loaded on this candle, You've just been sitting pretty ever since. You know, we did put alerts out at $5. I'm not going to go all the way back in the past. But, uh, you know, we keep, uh, you know, this is a stock that, that's a, a, a long-term play for us. And so we've been charting it for quite a long time, and it just keeps performing beautifully. So congrats, everyone. Uh, you know, nothing goes in a straight line. It, it, today's candle did form above the upper Bollinger Band. If it does cool down, you just want to see EMA4 support hold. Once there's a close below, that's your chance to, uh, you know, get an entry point if you've missed the boat. Okay, look at ACB. FF here. This is the number two top uh, cannabis company in the world, uh, Aurora Cannabis. And uh, yeah, it, it has RSI at 66. I mean, this is not at overbought levels. Look how it pushed all the way up in the 90s on, on two runs ago. It pushed up in the 80s on the last run. So so this has some some room to run here. Okay. Uh, it, it's really heating up. Uh, on Friday, it closed right at that middle Bollinger Band level, the dotted purple line at 564. And today there was really nice follow through. So congrats, everybody. Um, the, the key level that we want to see break is the closing price on the 27th. A close above that level, about 645 or so, that's going to signal that it wants to break out higher and, and head to new levels. You know, it's that high close there on the 28th that will be the level to break after that so this is really nice as long as that middle Bollinger Band's holding the uptrend's intact it's inside of this sideways channel notice how it was holding this 540 level you know it, it, it needs to bust through the top of the channel to head to that next level notice that there was a bullish crossover on the MACD 813 and 5 that signals the possible start of a new uptrend you want to see a bullish crossover in the 1226 and 9 check out the green dots notice how they're above the candles once the share price hits that level the dots are going to flip below that's going to be a bullish signal check out back here when the when, when the dots were above the candles Candles right here and it was pulling back notice how they flip below and then and then look at the huge run that followed okay so that's what we're looking for here dots to flip below 
break above resistance, push to the next level. It's all set up for it. Look here on uh, uh, plus DI. You've got it breaking above uh, ADX. Now you've got the perfect setup with plus DI, ADX, and minus DI all lined up here. Look how they're way down here at low levels. Plus DI has gotten way up to 65 before. It's only at th 36 right now. ACBFF is heating up. Aurora Cannabis. Okay, APHQF. This is a Freya, the number three top dog. You know, so we can we can go. You know, there's there's you know three or four top players, and and uh, th this is one of them. And these guys are rocking it out hard right now. They're making all time new highs here, up 10 percent. You know, they're cruising in the, in the power zone on R sign Fasto. Look at this beautiful uptrend right here. All you had to do is just load and just keep riding. You know, I've been alerting these plays for long. That's for longer term, and you know, people that are looking at these as long term plays. But but you know, uh, you know, you have to keep following the charts all the time. You never know; these could break down at any time. And, and so that's why we, we do follow the charts and not the chatter. And so right now the charts are signaling to keep riding. Notice that the candles are riding this pink line, you know, currently at 1231. Um, as long as candles are riding the EMA4 support, there's no reason to exit unless you're locking in profits. You know, the, 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 the candle is busting through the upper Bollinger Band. You know, many times when it gets above the upper Bollinger Band, it pulls back into the bands. And so that's what we need to look out for here. Check out how, how it has a history of doing that. <clears throat> and so uh, odds are that, that that it could, you know, work back into the bands. If it does, you want to see EMA4 hold. Once EMA4 support breaks, that when it, that's when it could possibly drop down to EMA13 or the middle Bollinger Band. So it has a very strong uptrend. You know, it's out here breaking out to all-time new highs. You have the bullish crossover on the 8, 13, and 5, and, and, you know, signaling a possible new push higher. And, and the 12, 26, and 9 just bounced, you know, the MACD line bounced off the signal line. Okay, let's look at MEDFF. Back above uh, 70 on RSI, in the in the and this is a uh, uh, med relief, okay. And so so this is another top dog, and and they, they are you know it, once again they they had this sideways channel, you know you know this was the bottom of the channel, um, you know you could uh, draw a trend line across the top right here, and you could see how uh, you know it was a very tight channel, and then it busted above it on Friday, and that signaled more upside, and so now it's going up to the very top, the the high close on the 13th, and so a close above the closing price on the 13th is going to signal that it wants to head higher. Notice that was the high of day today. If it fails to break that level, that's it could come back down and, and test this uh, previous channel. You want to see it stay above the top. But you want to see the, the pre previous resistance level here turn into support. As long as that middle Bollinger Band is holding at 12.48, the uptrend is intact. Notice down here on the MACD 12, 26, and 9 how, how you're getting a bullish crossover. The black line is the MACD line. The purple line is the uh, or blue line, whatever color that is there. It, it, that is the signal line. And so it crossing over assuming the possible start of a new push higher notice how here in October when there was a crossover you know it pushed higher so yeah so so this is happening on both of the uh, 12 26 and 9 and 8 13 and 5 and so that is very good to see if you are a bull okay let's look at Coronas group another big dog PRMCF breaking out higher making all-time new highs here it's cruising on a very strong chart look at this beautiful uptrend right here it's just been cruise control just cruising and then today it's busting out higher so it's a big boot move higher it's on a multi-day run so you whenever stocks are on multi-day runs and, and they're busting through the upper Bollinger Band you always have to be ready for a potential pullback you know as long as EMA4 keeps holding here this pink line notice it's been holding the whole time here you know it it, it, it signals it's very strong when, when it broke below back here in November it came down and tested the EMA 13 and the middle Bollinger Band and so that is the downside risk if that level breaks you know you could see the potential uh, you know test of the, the middle Bollinger Band way down at 370. Okay, and, and what you want to do is you use the, 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 the rips above the up, upper Bollinger Band if you're a trader, you know, to lock in gains, and then you wait for the dip and you, and you reload, you know, so that that's, the, you know, you can you can work it as it's heading higher. Okay, look at IMLFF. Um, it, it, this is another uh, um, stock that, that's breaking out today. Okay, so this is only trading at 82 cents. Um, you know, this is still below a dollar. This was the, the bullish move that we had been looking for we wanted to see a, a, a close above the closing price on December 11th that finally happened today now we want to see 80 cents turn into support if 80 cents holds this should be heading to a dollar notice how the middle Bollinger Band has been holding during the uptrend it started a new uptrend back here on October 31st when it closed above the middle Bollinger Band you know it's trading above it's trading above all the moving averages and heading higher so yeah if you want one that's uh, you know hasn't uh, you know it isn't uh, uh, up about a multi dollars okay this is IMLFF 
to keep take an eye on it, you know, keep an eye on it. It's it's got bullish crossover here on the 8135 and it's pinched on the the 12, 26 and 9. Okay, now BLOZF. Okay, these guys are the breathalyzer. They're like the number one uh, you know, they they're in the number one position for the marijuana breathalyzer. And if you read all the legislation it's all like there's a lot geared towards that you know that's a big focus on a lot of the state legislature in in the united states and if these guys you know become the top dogs you know i'm sure they want to see you know there's not a real good breathalyzer out there so we'll just see if their technology is going to work but but they're, they're sitting in the driver's seat and it looks like investors like the story because it's breaking out higher today so you can you know when you're when you're thinking about the marijuana sector there's all different facets of the marijuana industry and, and you could try to play uh different parts of the sector and and, and so this is a, another angle and, and and so yeah this is on the enforcement of impaired drivers and so if you look here the the break above 160 today was signaling more upside potential this is the move we've been looking for you want to see a stock continually making uh, new high closes you know we were looking for a close above the closing price on the uh, what was it the 15th Okay, and, and then that happened here uh, on this candle here, uh, uh, you know, in, in December. And so that was seemingly more upside. And then now we're getting a break above that, that level. And so it's, it's seemingly that it wants to push higher. Now our next target is up here at 190. Uh, you know, we want it, 190 is the big level to break. If it could bust above 190, then that should signal that it's, uh, you know, the upturn's intact and it's, it's going to be cruising higher. If it stalls out there, that's when you could see it pull back. Um, you know, as long as this middle Bollinger Band way down here at 132 is holding, the uptrend is intact. Okay, let's look at NXTTF. <clears throat> this thing is crazy. It, it's up every single day. It's wild. It's up another 12% today. I mean, RSI is super frothy here. It's at 91. You know, so you just have to be ready for this thing to take a breather, okay? So just keep that in mind. Nothing goes straight up. You know, you don't want to be the... It's, it becomes like a game of hot potato at the end, it, 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 you know, it, where, where you don't be the last one holding the bag. You know, it's like musical chairs. You don't want to be the one, you know, left with the, uh, you know, with the guy that paid the, uh, the high entry point and then got stuck when it pulled back that kind of thing you know so so just keep that in mind it, it you know if you're going to be a chaser and you chase on the way up you got to follow the it, you know you should follow the intraday charts and if the intraday charts break down you should head to the sidelines because you don't want to mess around if you're if you chased and you've got a high entry point just throwing that out there okay so this keeps pushing higher and so now you know it looks to me like now we've got a uh, 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 bearish uh, three gap ups reversal pattern so you notice there's a gap here you've got a gap uh, you know, here, you know, between, uh, it, it, there was a gap up open. Okay. Well, so, so, so yeah, so, so it looks like it's formed m multiple gap up opens. And, and, and so, uh, yeah, it's just signaling that it's very frothy. You know, it has multiple gaps in a row and, and, and uh, you know, it could cool down. Today's candle is floating well above the upper Bollinger Band. Okay, so so if the candles do work back into the bands, EMA4 at 198 is the key level to hold. You know, if it drops below that, that's when you could see it finally pull back and consolidate. Last time it pulled down to uh, EMA8, that's way down here at 166. Um, it's got a really nice, strong uptrend. I mean, it is just, I mean, look at it. It, it's, it broke out down here in November. They got the deal with... Uh, um, um, uh, 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 freaking, uh, what was it, Canopy Growth or whatever, if selling the hydro equipment, or maybe it was Aurora Cannabis with one of the big dogs, and, and then the thing really took off, and then it just keeps pushing higher. And, and, and so it, it's up a thousand percent, okay, since since November. So keep that in mind, a thousand percent move. At some point, it's going to take a breather. Breaking below EMA4 is going to be your first clue that the chart is cooling down. Okay, uh, take a look at OGRMF. This is Organogram holdings okay these guys are, are heating up here what you want to see is a break above the closing price on uh, the the 12th that that is the high close level to break it's just above 320 320 here about 321 um, it hit that level today and pulled back if it can close above that level that should be the signal that it wants to head to that next that next level that it wants to keep pushing higher if it fails to break that level it could consolidate more you know it's been working on a, you know holding support here that middle Bollinger Band at 289 it needs to hold that level if that breaks it could drop down to the 50-day simple moving average at 265 so it's got to hold that 290 
break above 320, drop it below, below 290, and then you've got uh, 265 on deck. It has a nice uptrend going. You've got a bullish crossover on 813 and 5 MACD. You want to see the 1226 and 9 uh, crossover as well. Uh, yeah, and, and then, you know, if you look up here, our size at 61. So it has a lot of room to run until overbought levels. Okay, let's take a look at another one that's, uh, you know, down here in, in dollar land. This is ISOLF. Okay, so so these guys, uh, uh, th this chart here, you know, has some room to run. This is one that's kind of heating up. It's not like already broken out and like hitting all crazy levels. And, and so uh, it, it's at uh, 60 on RSI, so it has room to run. Notice that it ran up to 90 before. So it's got some, you know, some juice in the tank. And Fasto is only at 63. So this one's just getting going. It formed a, a bullish reversal pattern on Friday. That looks like a, a bullish uh, uh, one white soldier. And so today that pattern was confirmed that that was a reversal pattern. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't, uh, yeah, I have to look at the chart closer, but you, you've got the white candle. You've got the, because I don't know if a bearish reversal pattern formed on this. I'd have to check the chart again and look, but but you've got nice follow through after the white candle on Friday. And then you've got a nice uh, close above the middle Bollinger Band at 119. And so as long as that middle Bollinger Band's holding, that, that, then the, the uh, it, could, it should get an uptrend going. It should get a new uptrend. Um, it should try to push higher. Um, you know, it was a nice bounce off of the middle Bollinger Band. What, what you want to see now is a break above the 140 with the 145 resistance zone. It's all about this closing price here, uh, this high close. If you can get above that level, that's going to see what wants to push higher, and then you'll have 170 on deck. If it fails to hold the middle Bollinger Band, or if it goes up and hits that 140 zone and fails to break it, that could signal a potential uh, temporary top. Notice it's in a sideways channel. So right now, 90 is the bottom of the channel, and 140 is the top of the channel. You need to load at the bottom and sell at the top if it fails to break the resistance. Distance, a break a, a break and a close above that symbols it wants to head higher notice how the 813 and 5 is pinched and trying to cross over <clears throat> okay take a look at AT TBF okay this is one of the uh, um, uh, uh, I think they do the uh, testing lab testing uh, cannabis testing and so uh, they, they've got a, a, a good uptrend going right now so it's got the, the, the big uh, volume spikes that happened down here a couple weeks ago. You know, it, it's been hitting this major resistance at this 47 to 48 zone. Notice that was the high today, that, that 47 level. Uh, the, the, the Both black candles closed at that level, and it closed at that level again today with a long-legged doji. You know, uh, it was trying to convert, you know, so basically it has to get above 47 to 48. Above 47, 48, that signals it wants to head higher. Fail to break that level, and it's going to consolidate more. It's as simple as that. Um, you know, if it drops down below 38, that'll signal downside risk, and 32 will be on deck. And then let's look at A, B, C, C, F. This had a bullish close today above uh, resistance. Notice our size is only at 66, so it has more room to run. You know, it ran up into the 80s before. So, so today it closed above the closing price here on the 27th of November. That that's what everybody was looking for. Notice it's been in this like you know kind of like a sideways channel here. You know, it's been it's been trending sideways. Ways, trying to break resistance it finally happened today it has to get above the the opening price from back here on november 28th that's at, at, at one 0.375. It broke that level intraday today. A close above that level, a signal it wants to keep heading higher. Today's candle did close above the upper Bollinger Band. All right, so if the candles do work back into the bands, you know you really want to see it stay above this level. It's got to it's got to turn that level into support to push higher. If it gets back into that channel, it's going to signal more consolidation. It has to hold that middle Bollinger Band down there at 117 to keep the uptrend going. Notice there was a bullish volume spike, and then uh, yeah, if you look down here on MACD, you've got the nice uh, crossover down here on the 813 and five and it's pinched on the 12 26 and nine you know these are signals that that, that it, it could be starting that next push higher okay let's look at emmbf this will be the last one i'll leave you with in this video and this closed up nine percent today notice it's only at a dollar 54 right now this was one where when we've been tracking this with the uh we, we do a bunch of weekly charts on all these uh canadian stocks and this was the one that was really lagging it's been the super lagger of everyone and so you notice it's down here um the 300 day simple moving average is undefined it's one of those newer companies um it, it had been in this like pretty uh you know uh, pattern here where uh it's just been uh 
basically going nowhere for a few months. You know, it, it's been you know between 160 and way down here at 114. And, and, and uh, yeah, it basically right now it had the break above resistance. Okay, to make a long story short, this was the move that we were looking for. It closed above the 200-day simple moving average at 149. If it can hold that level, that's going to be very bullish. It's the top moving average on this chart. Like I said, if you look over here, it, the 300-day simple moving average is undefined. So so this is the key level. Above this level, it's traded above all the moving averages. It's very bullish. And it formed a long-legged doji today. That is not the candlestick you want to see. Um, you know, it signals indecision. It formed above the upper Bollinger Band. You know, it, it, it's just, it's not exactly what you want to see if you're a bull. But but it, it was a bullish close above resistance. Also closed above high close resistance from November. So it major resistance levels broke today. If they can turn into support, if they can turn 149 into support, the big resistance level to break now is over here in October over high close which is at about 163 and if it can close above 163 that's when you're going to see it wants to push higher this one you know it, it, if you look at the weekly chart you'll see it has a, you know it it, it just it, it, it's it's lagging behind the other ones and it has some upside potential if it can get above resistance okay thank you very much for viewing this video yeah the uh, marijuana sector is super smoking right now and uh yeah uh, please, please come check out our chat check out our uh, um um yeah, check out the chat. I'll post the link at the end of the video. And then, uh, yeah, please hit the like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you.